Welcome back to the World Tour, the Lemmings World Tour, on Colorful Artie's channel. Today, we're continuing with the Encore rank, and hopefully there won't be any levels that make me rage this time. Uh, after taking some time to, like, cool down a bit, and then reading Strato's comments regarding the Atlantis level, I, I can see why he wouldn't, I can see now why he wouldn't think that it would be a rage-worthy level, because as he pointed out, the exit for that level is one of the most commonly used exits in this pack. However, that's just something that went over my head, and I didn't really pay attention to it at all. So maybe that's on me, but also I just felt like the entire combination of things, what with all of like you not being able to see the trigger area, it being extremely narrow, the swimmer hitboxes being kind of weird, as well as the fact that for some reason the lemmings clip through the ceiling randomly make that for a very unenjoyable experience. So I still stand by my comments. I still don't like that level, but I at least understand Strato's thought process a bit better. And apparently stoning from the top is what was intended for that level, which is strange, because I tried that, and it didn't work. But anyhow, we're moving on from that. We're on level 19 today. We're almost halfway through the Encore rank. It's a walk in the park. Hey, that's kind of like the first level of Newbie from Sublems. 20 lemmings, we got to save them all. This is by Nick Straker. All right. We got some pre-placed blockers. Clearly, we're going to have to... Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. What? Oh, wait. <laughs> I've, I, 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 I don't know why. I do not know why. But when I first saw this, I saw one basher, ten builders, one walker. Not four. 41 walkers. I'm like, how are we going to use one basher to get them out and them out and go through the tree? That's impossible. It's like, Artie, did you not see all these walkers? Okay, wait. Um, wait. Wait, is it... Well, hang on. I think they're going to climb up all this, but yeah, that's... Okay. Now, I think it, this is going to be an easy one, I think. Oh, they go out that way for some reason. Well, we got enough walkers for everybody. Okay, this should be an easy level. Now, how far... Okay, I think if we just build there... We can build there and then maybe build there again, and bada-beam, bada-boom, we should turn everyone around. That's not even splat height. Cool. So, will he turn around from this, or will we have to make another builder? We have to make another builder. That's fine. Okay, th never mind. When I first saw this level, I don't know why, but I only saw one walker, and not 41 walkers. Okay, that, that'll make him turn around. Boom. Easy. Okay, super easy first level. Nice! I appreciate easy levels. You definitely gave me 20 walkers too many on that one, so... I don't know. I enjoyed that one, though. That was fun. I, I, I just like how I didn't see all 41 walkers at the beginning. Don't know what my mind was thinking there. Level 20, Skies Aflame, the Tyvis Yol Ulta, by Taras Betoni. Yes, we can kill up to five lemmings. This one looks familiar. I haven't really recognized any of the levels that I've played thus far, but this one seems familiar. For sure. Cause for, I, yeah, because they're all swimmers, which means they can go through the lava. Because apparently in this, lava counts as water, not as fire. Alright. Well, I mean, we can presumably let them all go? Maybe? Possibly? Maybe not. Wait. I'm pretty sure if you stone in the water, nobody will be able to actually reach it. Hmm. Okay, maybe this will be a little more complicated than I f at first thought. 
I do remember a level with this structure, but I don't remember the solution. Huh. Okay, this is actually... This is actually fascinating. Hmm. Like, how do I get a lemming up here? Clearly the stoners are gonna be key. We can also make a holding cell up here for them, no problem. Actually, yes, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna progressively stone on our way down. We're gonna build, make a little holding cell for them. Okay, that was apparently not deep enough. I'm not worried, though. We can just fence them out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I think we can use all the builders just to get up here. Oh, wait. Hang on. We're gonna have to swim over the ceiling, though. Which will, which will require more diggers. Or diggers. Builders, Artie. They're called Builders. We can stone the rest of the way, but... Uh. Hmm. Well, this is quite a predicament. This is not as trivial as it might seem. What if we do... Like, we can make a wall of stoners to trap them on this side. We do have five climbers. But we gotta get them over the steel, and the only way to do that is with builders. So we're gonna need... Let's see... We're gonna need all of our builders, so we're gonna have to find a way to make- to hold them back without using any builders. That's actually gonna be tricky. That's actually gonna be pretty- pretty tricky. Oh, no, it's not. We've got stoners. <laughs> you know, it's, there are some days where I'm just extra stupid, people. I'm sorry. I'm like, who in the, how in the world do we hold the lemmings back using these diggers without without using builders? I just don't know. It's like, um, really? I'm sorry, herpa derpa skirp. I'm I can be very very stupid sometimes. Wow, that level took way longer than it should have. As long as long as we stretch all these bridges, we should hopefully get all the. Wait a second. I shouldn't stone that low down, if we're worried about height. Wow, I'm stupid. I forget, like, I forget a key function of a main skill. I'm like, stoners, you can use those to break Lemmings Falls, and that's it, right? Oh, actually, do will we have to go all the way down? Oh, dog on it. I actually stoned too high up. Let's stone red down there. I like how the space bar like perfectly skips for the builder's animation. All right, come on. Beautiful, just like that. Okay, that's that's interesting. I was not expecting that, but okay. 
Guess we're gonna bash and dig. And then we've got the fencer to get them out. Okay, that was a strange level. Definitely, I, I definitely made it harder than it needed to be, but that was, that was fun. Very enjoyable trying to figure that out. Not as tough as it looked. Like, <laughs> it definitely seemed tougher, but I think that was just me being really dumb and not realizing that stoners exist and can be used as substitutes for blockers. So, we're going to move past that. <laughs> level 21, Diggy Leaky Low by Rusty and Doug. <laughs> hey, Doug, I see you out there. 20 lemmings, we got to save all 20 of them. 35 release rate, we got some one-way down arrows in hell. Just a typical day on my channel. Why is it that the one-way down arrows move to the left? They're supposed to move down. I've never understood why that was the case. Also, wow, that's a limited skill set. Oh, but we got... Okay. Ten lemmings up here, ten lemmings down there, and we have ten climbers, and we can afford to kill one. Okay. Okay, well, they, there we go. I'm like, how do we do this with one... Destructive skill. Hmm. Alright, well. This shouldn't be too difficult. You're gonna glide. Doom, 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 doom. This should be easy. We can just let. Hopefully, even if he doesn't stop, I can build to make him stop, and then we can just send them all up as climbers. But I think, yeah, I think they'll all go up before. Never mind. They won't, but he can build to turn around. So he's unfortunately going to be stuck down there for always and eternity, but then we can just clone him and build, and everybody will turn around and reach the exit, and then he'll have to be nuked. Sorry, buddy, but them's the breaks. Heroes often die for the greater cause, and that's exactly what you're going to do. Sorry, buddy. Alright, that was a fun level. Nice and simple. I like the architecture, and I like the simple solution. Very nice. All right, level 22, Encased in Concrete, another metal level with some lasers. This is by Cannibal Corpse. Not somebody who I would want to hang out with. 40 lemmings, we can kill up to five of them if we need be. Hey, Artie, five stoners. Don't forget this time. All right, well. I bet you we can... I bet you we can get away with only one stoner to... Knew it. Knew it. There we go. Alright. Now, getting up is going to be tricky. We do have some fencers, but we don't have very much in the way of constructive skills. So I think we can just make a really thick stack here. And then maybe fence through it all? Nope, not thick enough. Alright, well then in that case... Instead of making a stacker over here at the start, we're going to use another stoner. Oh, 
we'll use all three of our stackers here. And now we should be able to fence up through all of it. There we go. Just like that. Good, good. There's still a pixel left. Now, the question is... Oh yeah, yeah, that should be enough. Now we can fence them out of here. He can build up here, and then stone, and then we can platform plus hopefully fence, and hopefully we can fence all the way up the rest of that. That would be very, very nice. But there's a chance we won't actually make it, and we're going to miss the trigger area. That's what I was afraid of. Nope, we can still make it. Because we got another stoner, and we got another platformer. Aha! So we, we're going to have to use every skill. There we go! That was a great puzzle. I actually really liked that one. Very, very nice. Very n nice use of some skills that maybe not everybody takes advantage of. Namely, the stoners and the stackers. That was fun! That was definitely a great, simple, compact little level. I, I really like that one. One of my favorites from this rank. Level 23, Walking in the Air by Nightwish. 40 lemmings, we can kill up to 10 of them. This is a sky tile set level with some more lasers. Strato does love his sky tile set from what I'm seeing. And we got an upside down hatch here. Well, gee, I, um... I wonder what we can do at the beginning. Clearly, that's what we're gonna have to do. Uh, so... That's a thing. There we go. Hmm, okay. I have seen the future and I've decided the best way is to follow the clouds. I like this. This is an interesting um, 10 of everything level. I don't want to waste too many of my builders. But this should hopefully work. Now, if I stack, like, right in here... Can we get up that lip? We can! Haha! -ha! Excellent. Now, I think I see the problem, though. Getting them out. Actually, that's not a problem at all. Habushki. <laughs> there we go. We used all of our builders, but it was worth it. We got them all to the exit, except for those free brave lemmings at the beginning who stoned in order to keep them contained. <laughs> that was funny. I like the upside-down hatch that uh, at the bottom. <laughs> that was funny. That was a fun level. I like that one. Level 24, World Without End. It's Gregorian. 40 lemmings, we can kill up to three of them. This is a nice-looking dirt level. We got some steel, and we got teleporters aplenty. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of that, but let's see. I'm going to keep an open mind. Once again, I've used teleporters to imitate the behavior of the now-removed wraparound gimmick. Okay, that's right. The wraparound gimmick was another gimmick I really liked. The wraparound gimmick, for those who didn't know, is that a lemming that walked to the left side of the screen would then pop out on the right side of the screen. That was a, it was a legitimately fun mechanic, and I'm very disappointed that it was eventually patched out. Hmm, okay. Oh, and also for wraparound, if you fall, then you appear at the top as well. Okay, this is... This is intriguing. So we gotta get them all going to this direction. Perhaps we can do something like this? Bashers is going to be tricky. 
At least for the... Oh, wait, no, it's not. Because we can bash through this going on our way up. And the worst part... I can't even hold the lemmings back because the other, if I make a holding cell for the lemmings, then they're just going to keep going this way over and over again. Be or, if I keep them held back here, then they're all going... Uh, when they all hit the teleport at the same time, some of them will go past and then die, so I can't even create a holding cell. Hmm. So if that's the case, I gotta ask, if I make a stacker here to break the fall, will that, will that kinda keep them penned in? Not quite. But we can make another stoner on the way down here. Now we've got lemmings going in two directions, and this definitely seems to be more intended than usual. Than what I was doing before. Maybe another stoner there? Aha! I like where this is going. <laughs> he continue. Wait, he continues the platformer through the teleporter? I never knew that. That's great. Oh, that's great, actually. You can climb. I don't like how close the lemmings are now. Oh, I think I know what to do. Okay. If... Okay. If the platformer continues going through the teleporter, which I did not know happened, but is really cool, that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to bash through down here. The platformer is going to continue, and then this guy's going to platform. They should, for the most part, escape. Except that guy didn't, because he's a crud butt. Are you kidding me? I don't like... Again, one pixel. I hate one pixels. Because I want to send one lemming. He can build over that, climb, and then platform to this, or build to this, teleport, bash them out. Or rather, he'd build up here and build, build, build. I feel like I'm 100% doing this beginning part. Wait, I can I can get for this beginning part with only one stoner. All of these here are just for hacks. There's no point in doing that. I really don't like how that... But we can let him die. He can die, and I and nobody will care. Alright, we do need to find a way to get over that, though. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need all of our builders for this end part. Hmm. We're also going to need a basher for there. To get them out. As well as a basher for here. So we can't spare one of those either. Hmm. Oh, change of plans. 
Guys, what are we even doing? We can wait for the last lemmings. We wait for the last lemmings to go for the teleporter. Which are these two guys. Now, if they're close enough together... If they're close enough together, they can both go for this. Actually, no, we don't even need that. Right, you're the last buddy, so you can go through, like... Nope, there's a guy after you. Alright. You can go through this, and you can platform over the weight. You're gonna climb... And you're going to platform. And now, once you get to the edge, you're going to build. And you're going to turn around, you're, and you're going to enter for here. And we're going to bash these guys out. And it's going to be fun. Where is that taking you? It's going to take you over this way. And then you go back in for here. All right, then he'll go to the exit. And now what we're gonna, what we're gonna do? Last one in here is going to bash, and then we can use our stoner there, and they should all go to the exit now. All right, that was super fun. Okay, they don't get up there. I mean, that's still level solved. I just need to build from farther back. But that definitely looked like they should have gotten up there. Okay. I mean, again, I don't have to change anything. Bum, bum, bum. And everyone now goes free. Yeah, okay. That is, I think, I think that's officially my favorite level from the Encore rank. That was super fun. That was really, really good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed solving that. That was not trivial. That was a, that was a good challenge and actually very nice use of the teleporters. I I applaud you, Strato. It is very difficult for people to make teleporter levels that I actually like, but you you made one. That was a genuinely really nice teleporter level. And that's where we're gonna end the video for today because I don't have the confidence that I can beat another level in two minutes. So. I'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you tune in for more Encore levels. Today's levels were a lot of fun, and I'm hoping that they continue to be a that level of difficulty right there. That's basically my favorite difficulty. It, I need to think a little bit, and there might be a, multiple different things you can try, and only one of them works. But that was that was very fun. That was a very, very good level. All right. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.